A well drilling company charges $15 for drilling the first foot of a well, $15.25 for drilling the second foot, and $15.50 for the third foot. If this pattern continues, how much will it cost to have this company drill a 100-foot well? So we'll begin by writing down the first few terms of this sequence. So that first foot it drills will cost us 60, excuse me, $15. The second foot costs $15.25. The third foot, $15.50, and so on. So we first want to decide what our pattern is here. How are we going from one term to the next? So to go from 15 to 15.25, and then 15.25 to 15.50, it looks like we are adding 0.25 each time, repetitively. So because we're adding a constant, that tells us that this sequence of numbers is arithmetic. And we also know our common difference. D is that value that we're adding repetitively, which in this case is 0.25. All right. So it wants to know how much it's going to cost to drill the 100 foot well. So let's keep track of our terms here of the sequence and their, their actual meaning. This $15 is what the first foot costs. And the $15.25 is what the second foot costs. So if I wanted to know total how much it would cost to drill two feet down, I actually would have to add the first foot, its cost, and add it to the second foot's cost, and so on. So you have to be careful because when I say right here $15.50, that's not how much all three feet would cost, but rather only how much the third foot would cost. So we're going to let 15 be my first term when n equals 1, and then n equals 2, and so on. So you can see the, the correlation that the foot that you're on does match what term we want. So if we want a 100 foot well, then we're actually going to have to sum up all 100 terms of this sequence. So we need to compute an arithmetic sum. Luckily we have a nice arithmetic sum formula. We know that the sum of an arithmetic sequence can be found by multiplying the number of terms times the average of the first and last terms. So that would be a sub 1 plus a sub n all divided by 2. So we would like to sum up the first 100 terms of this sequence. So that will be 100 times our first term, which is 15, what it costs to drill one foot, the first foot, plus and then we have a little issue here because a question mark, we don't know what the last term or the 100th term is of this sequence. And then all of this will get divided by 2. So we need to time out here for a second. We need to figure out here what is this 100th term or in the context of this problem, how much does it cost to drill the 100th foot? So now we need to go back and actually figure out what's the equation for this sequence, not the sum, but the general equation. And you can use your general uh, form for an arithmetic sequence where we know we always take the first term and then we add n minus 1 times d, the common difference. So in this case, first term is 15 plus n minus 1 times 0.25. So now if we need to know how much it costs to drill the 100th foot, we want the 100th term. 15 plus 100 minus 1 times 0.25. And now we can figure out the 100th term of the sequence. And this turns out to be, it looks like, $39.75. So this is the 100th term, or the cost of the 100th foot. But then this allows me to go back to my sum here. And now I can input the $39.75 as my last term, and then complete the sum. So total, it looks like it'll cost $2,000, $2,737.50 to drill all 100 feet of this well.